Hey everyone, today I wanted to cover my generator and solar panel setup now that it was a pretty nice day and I thought I'd give you a tour. So these are the two Boulder 100 briefcase panels and those are here on my deck facing south and they need to go around the corner here to those two boxes, uh, the bigger boxes where they're going to plug in. And both of these have an eight millimeter connector here. So this is the one for the other panel. And what we want to do is we want to combine these two together. Uh, I'm going to be using this eight millimeter to Anderson power pole connector here. So this lets me sum them together. And around here, if I open up this box, this is the box that I'm using to store the cable. So this is a 15 foot Anderson cable that goes into the combiner and that goes into the panels. The other half of the cable comes in here through the basement. So this is, again, one 15-foot Anderson cable, so we're keeping the runs as short as we can, and that will plug into the Yeti. Now, today is a kind of a cloudy, hazy day, so uh, not a great day for solar panels. So you can see these two panels are only putting out 50, 55 watts, which isn't great, but, you know, it's a cloudy day. And that brings me to the next part of the system, which I think is just as important. Um, the sun's not always going to be shining. So this is the Ryobi um, propane generator. This thing puts out 700 watts continuous, 900 watts peak. Um, really, really lightweight unit. You can carry it with one hand. And what I have is three 20-pound propane tanks that I stash around the corner of my garage here. So we'll just grab one of these and bring it up to the deck. So just put it down here and we can connect our generator to that tank and that will run for a long time. To get specific, this will run for 60 hours on this 20 pound tank if I'm asking it to output 175 watts. For my wall charger, I'm gonna need a little bit more. So that needs about 350 watts. So this will be running at half power, which means it'll last for about 30 hours on this tank, which is really great. And what I'm going to do is use this 10 gauge 20 foot extension cord. So that will go from my generator around the side of the house and plug in. So pretty simple setup here. And to start this, you just really hit the primer button. You pull the cord a few times and then you plug the cable in. And we can follow this extension cord here across the deck and around here to where it hooks up. And my electrician just put this box in today. I wanted to make sure it worked. And that basically just plugs here into this receptacle so I can plug my high-speed charger into it. So pretty simple. It's basically a glorified extension cord, but that connector on the outside makes it really easy and clean to connect this in without the mess of an extension cord. And so at this point now we have the solar panels into the MPPT and we have our generator plugged into the regular Anderson power port connector. So I thought I'd fire up a bunch of circuits on the integration kit so we can really test this. Um, I find this works much better when it's below 90%. So you can see now uh, on the input side, we're getting well over 300 watts. Uh, earlier, it was even a little bit higher. And on the output side, we're getting about the same amount. So it's a pretty balanced system here. So I could keep everything going at this level for 30 hours, no problem with just one tank. And I do have two more tanks waiting in the wings. So I think as a setup, this will work really well. I should be able to make it quite a long time uh, given my loads here on the system. Uh, even if I have all eight circuits on, I think at this point I have six, uh, but everything's working really smoothly. And I had every single light on in the house at full blast. So that in a nutshell is how I'm planning on keeping my house going during a power outage. I can get my lights, my microwave, my fridge, my sump pump, all running off the Yeti 1000 because I have a lot of input power coming in through solar and through the propane generator. So I hope this video was helpful. I, I really struggled with trying to figure out how to connect a 120 volt uh, generator to my house and really the best way to connect a solar panel through the wall. And there really wasn't a lot of information, so I hope this was helpful for folks. Thanks for watching.